as bodies continued to wash ashore on Libya's coast this week. The death toll from last week's disaster in the Mediterranean is still being counted. 20 bodies were recovered. Previously, we had recovered eight bodies, and now the search is still ongoing for the rest of the bodies. 150 people are believed to have drowned when their boats capsized late last month as they tried to reach Europe. UN agencies say they're not the only victims of a broken migration system. For those who don't make it to Europe, their boats are intercepted at sea by Libya's Coast Guard and placed in detention under an agreement supported by the European Union. Around 5,000 migrants and refugees are being held without having committed any crime. 3,000 of them are being detained in facilities close to the front line, where fighters loyal to warlord Khalifa Haftar are fighting for the control of the capital, Tripoli. According to the UN's refugee agency, many are living in squalid conditions with inadequate food supplies. Libya's UN-recognized government is now closing two such facilities in Misrata and Koms. And a third in Tajura, where scores of detainees were sent, even though an airstrike blamed on warlord Khalifa Haftar hit the facility, killing 53 people last month. What we are calling on now is for an orderly release of all refugees in detention centres to urban settings and we stand ready to provide, to provide these people with assistance through our urban programmes. Asylum seekers and refugees should not be kept in detention. We uh, absolutely oppose any idea of detaining children, uh, in, uh, whether they are refugees or, or asylum seekers or migrants. While fighting continues between Libya's warring factions, there's growing concern about where the displaced migrants will go next and if this will lead to more overcrowding in the remaining centres. Rahila Mohamed, Al Jazeera.